So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and basically passcode lock iMessage on your iPhone. Now doing this is actually fairly basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So to first start off, this is an example of what it's going to look like. We're going to open up our message application and it's going to ask us for a password or a passcode or whatever you, you can change this to whatever you want to. And if you type in the passcode wrong, it's not going to open it up. But if you do type in the passcode right, which I think is this, the passcode, then it will actually open up the application for you. To do this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a new shortcut within our shortcuts application. So make sure you have Siri shortcuts and you can basically open up the app. Now this is a quick prompt of what it's going to look like. We're going to be adding a bunch of if statements and whatever. So in this case, we'll be adding this. So what we want to do is first of all, we can create a new automation. We can just go and click the plus button on the top right corner. Go and tap here and you want to go ahead and name this whatever you want to. You want to name this basically the app that you want. So in this case, we'll just, I think I named mine iMessage, but you can name yours whatever you want to. It's super basic. Now, when you do that, you're pretty much good to go. What we're going to want to do is we want to add an action. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an action for ask for. So it's going to ask for an input. So what we want to do is we want to ask for this input. So we want to follow the exact instructions that I just did right here. So we want to ask for text with password. So we're going to ask for text with, you can name this whatever you want to. In this case, we'll just name this password or passcode, but just name this whatever you want. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add an if statement. So this is the, probably the most important thing. So you want to find this if statement option here. You want to go and tap on if, and you want to do if prompt if provided input matches condition. So we want to make sure this is clicked on is. So tap on is, and you want to add this to text. Now, I don't know where the number thing went, but you can go and change this to whatever the passcode you want. So in this case, I'll be doing one, two, three, but you can change this to a word, or you can change this to whatever you want, you can change it to password. Whatever you wanna do, you wanna just make sure this is the passcode that you remember. Now, when you're ready, what you wanna do now is we wanna go ahead and bring this open message application. So we're going to do after this if statement, we wanna bring in the open app application. So we wanna click done to get out of there. At the very bottom, you wanna tap on the search bar and you wanna type in open and then app. So that's gonna give us this prompt, we want to tap on open app and what we're going to want to do here is we're going to drag and drop this open app prompt all the way up under this if statement it's going to automatically kind of get dragged to the side and now we can change this to iMessage so find the messages application whatever it's called what you're going to want to do here is tap on messages and then this prompt is going to come up so what you're going to want to do here basically for the most part is you want to go ahead and click on you can pretty much be done here but before we do that we want to go ahead and just make sure everything looks good okay looks good you wanna tap on the top portion right here and you wanna click add to home screen. Now this is where you wanna rechange this specific name to the name of that application. So in this case, it was like messages or something, right? And what we wanna do is we wanna download that app icon. So go into Google, you can type in like iMessage app icon and download this app icon. I've already done it, it's in my photos application. So now what I can do is make my way back into here. I wanna go and click on this photo icon right here, click choose photo, and you wanna type or tap onto that iMessage app and you wanna go and make sure it looks good. As you can see, mine's gonna be a little weird, but you wanna go and click choose. So you can see this will look like the messages application. Go and click add and watch what happens. I'll now have this messages app on my phone. And now if I open this one, you can see it asks me for my password. So now I can type in that passcode and it will actually go ahead and actually you know, require a passcode in order for me to open that app. And if I don't type it in, you know, write. So I click here and if I don't type it in write, if I type in a bunch of whatever, it's not going to open it. So that's it. Now you can delete this older app or you can delete the other ones and move it around. That's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.